This has not turned out exactly how I wanted it to. Hey, 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 hey. Hey? Having a shit one? Yeah? Nah. Yeah, yeah, you are. Because I'm having a shit one. Because this is fucked. All, this whole coronavirus situation, it's fucked. I don't even know what day it is. I don't even know what time it is. 7.30. Honestly, all I've been doing the past, I don't know, week, is been playing like old Need for Speed games. I booted up my old Xbox 360. I clocked Need for Speed Most Wanted. Clocked Need for Speed Carbon. I literally just then, before I picked up the camera, I needed to beat the final boss on Need for Speed Pro Street. I'll, I'll beat him and then <laughs> I'll film a video. I've just been the fattest fuck the past couple of weeks. I want to take photos so badly. I want to hang out with the boys. I want to go on a road trip. So I'm so ready for all of this to clear up, but hopefully, it shouldn't be too much longer now. Anyway, this is an iPad, an iPad Pro, the new one, the big one, the big and the new one, the big, uh, the big one. We're gonna try and do some light painting tonight and I'm gonna use the iPad. I'm gonna bring up like a red screen or a blue screen or something. And we're gonna try and use the iPad on full brightness as our source of light for the picture. Oh, my cat's like freaking out. <laughs> yeah, he's meowing. He can't come out because he's an indoor cat and he'll die and get hit by a car. Speaking of cars, I think this image is gonna act like sort of a car image. I've just turned on the lights, right? And so it's making the green part of the image really overexposed. So I'm gonna take a really underexposed picture of the lights so then I can just Photoshop them in later. Okay, good news is that it works. Okay, wow, this is really interesting. This is definitely bright enough to be a light source. That's what I was, the first thing I was worried about was like, it's not gonna be bright enough, you're not gonna be able to see it, but now <laughs> comes the art and more or less the fucking skill set actually you need to properly light paint. This image, I'm way too close to the camera and then I don't think the exposure was for long enough. I just basically want like a nice wavy line on the ground. So I need to be a lot lower to the ground and start further away from the camera. <laughs> This has not turned out exactly how I wanted it to. Um, maybe we should try not only a different color, but maybe a completely different pattern. Psychedelic pattern. Showing pictures that match. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it just looks fucked in my opinion. Whoa, 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 hold the phone. Literally, hold the phone, because that's what I did. I actually got my phone instead of my iPad. I think that maybe my iPad was too big of a light source, and it looked like it was fucking up the image. So I got my phone instead, and I put like a psychedelic image on it or whatever. I'm gonna try a few different phone sort of long exposures or whatever, and if these don't work out, then we'll just go back inside and figure out what we can do in Photoshop. <laughs> Immediately, I should have taken this picture without the pot plants in it, but whatever. It's okay, it's not that bad because we can always do it again, but for the sake of this video and for the sake of what we were photographing earlier, I definitely should should have just moved the pot plants because they are a massive eyesore right there. <laughs> that looks so bad. Select all these photos and we're just going to edit them in Photoshop. Okay, so... <laughs> Far out. This is what coronavirus has brought me to. Front yard photography. I'm gonna use this as my base layer, so I'm just gonna start copying all the other images into this one. And just quickly, what I meant by I'm gonna shoot this like I shoot a car image, when I take a photo of a car, I take a picture of it with the lights off and then with the lights on so I can merge them together later to get nicely exposed photos, right? So I did the same thing with my little lamp here. I took like a exposed photo of it properly and when you just go to lighten, See how they're on now? I fucked up because I should have taken another exposure where there was light around the leaves, but <laughs> whatever. This image is shit. Let's just accept it, okay? Next up, we gotta figure out which light painting I wanna put in. This one or this one? I actually think I like this one better. <laughs> so again, come to your blend modes, click lighten, 
and there we go. Fuck me, I wish I didn't. I wish I took the pot plants out. Anyway, whatever, all learning experience. And I have no idea what I was doing with this whole red thing going on, but I take a lot of bad photos that I don't share with you. I mean, I should probably share more stuff like this all the time because there's heaps of images that I fuck up, but I just don't share them because I'll just keep going until I get an image that I like. And then, you know, then I'll just share that instead. But I think it's good to show that you will fuck up with photography, especially when you're starting out as well and you don't really know what the best thing to photograph is gonna be. In hindsight, I probably should have walked around my house a bit more. I should have looked through the live view of my camera and just figured out what the best composition was gonna be instead of just like setting the camera up and taking this one shot. So now that's all together, we're gonna save it, save it again, and then we'll open it back up in Lightroom. First thing we're doing is taking all these reds out. Oh, that looks even worse. I've brutally fucked up this image. Wow, it's, that's probably the best that it looks like right now. What happens if we chuck a preset on it? Oh, got, oh what's that one? Sign. It's from Liam's pack. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Highlights up. <laughs> what am I looking at? This is a disgrace. <laughs> I'll pay you 50 bucks if you can take a shitter image than this. If you can photograph something worse than this, I'll transfer you 50 bucks because that's how bad this image is. Look, man, I can edit this image all day. If you polish a turd, it's still a turd at the end of the day. What happens if I just clone stamp? Clone stamp this whole thing. Oh, it's lagging hard. Boo! <laughs> there we go. That's good. And we just crop it in and forget about the pot plants. Probably should have taken the mask out here as well. Oh, there's so many things wrong with this image, but... Look, I hope I taught you at least how to merge the images together because that's that's a pretty cool thing you can do with photography. Not my best work, that's for sure, but hopefully it just inspires you to go out and just try something new. I know how uninspiring it can be just sitting around at home and you want to go out and take photos, but you can't right now because of the whole quarantine thing. I get it. This time will pass. It is temporary. I know how frustrating it can be, but look, as long as you're having fun, like I can laugh about this. I know it's fucking terrible, but... At least I'm trying. At least I'm trying to get out there and you're trying to create something. I think, I'll, I think I'll end it there before I humiliate myself anymore. So if you did like this video, leave a like down below or help me out by hitting subscribe. Help me out. Help me out there. Help me out by hitting subscribe. But with that all said and done, have a shit one. Kroner.